Many Nigerians say these elections could not be happening at a more critical time. In the race to choose the president, vice president, as well as members of the Senate and House of Representatives, the stakes are extremely high. The street people out there are very hungry. There is no cash on ground, and the little cash we have most times does not take care of our salaries. Throughout the capital, people have a long wait to get fuel, and it takes even longer to get money. That's because of a rushed redesign of the national currency and a botched rollout of the new banknotes. 18 candidates are campaigning for the presidency, but opinion polls suggest only three have a chance of winning. Nigeria has more than 93 million registered voters, and about 40 percent of them are under the age of 35. That's why many here believe the youth may play a pivotal role in the outcome. Hamzat Lawal is among a new generation of activists speaking out against corruption in Nigeria and promoting good governance. Today, we have over 100 million people that are very poor. Unemployment, over 30 percent unemployment rate, one of the highest ever. He believes many of the economic problems are a result of growing insecurity in the country. Today, we've lost foreign direct investment because the Nigerian government cannot guarantee safety of lives and property. We've moved from not only Boko Haram now to also, you know, successionists in the southeast, and we have bandits. In the village of Rugan Madaki, on the outskirts of Abuja, Mercy Daniels works in a plumbing shop and says she hopes the ballots will go smoothly. I want the elections to be fair. It should be fair, and there should not be violence during the election period. Nearby, shop owner Onyinye Okoli worries whether her son and daughter will be able to get the education they need. We are suffering a lot in this Nigeria. I pray that we thought after this election, may everything turn around. In a country where so many people are hoping for change, they're also apprehensive about what these elections will bring. Mohammed Jamjo, Al Jazeera, Abuja.